to God for his forgiveness to our martyrs who lost their lives for protecting the national interest of our country in Libya and Syria. I'd like to extend my condolences on behalf of all my nation. Turkey is fighting another independence war with the support coming from God and the support with our nation. I believe that Turkey will triumph again. As we shed our blood in these lands and make these lands our country, we will continue to fight for our nation, for our country again. In order to deserve these lands, we have to triumph in our operations abroad. As you recall yesterday, in an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.9, our citizens have lost their lives in the city of Van. I would like to extend my condolences to their beloved ones. We have lost our citizens because of the buildings which are not resistant against the earthquakes, and this is an old and common problem of our country. Of course, in order to tackle this problem, we will need time and we have to spend some costs. We, of course, have progressed in that regard, but there is a lot to be done. As we can easily observe, earthquake is not waiting for us. We have to prepare ourselves with a faster pace against the earthquake in terms of transforming our buildings which are not durable against the uh, earthquakes, we want the support of our citizens. Only uh, our state can tackle this problem with the support coming from our citizens. We speak about urban transformation all the time, but when we knock on the doors of our citizens and then we say urban transformation, unfortunately we are not always able to receive positive answers and this creates a problem. One of the reasons why we gather here together is just that aforesaid reason. As we came to office, education was one of the priority agenda in our policies. The budget allocated for the education was ranked in the top levels of our uh, budget from the kindergarten to the high school and the undergraduate studies. We invested a lot to strengthen our quality labor force. The number of our universities increased from 76 to 207, and our academician increased from 70,000 to 170,000, and the number of our university students increased from 1.6 million to 8 million. The obligatory education has been increased to 12 years, comprised of four, uh, three consecutive, four years of three consecutive periods, and the number of our classrooms have reached to 590,000. As we assign 652 new a thousand new teachers, the number of our teachers increased 936,000. 1.5 billion tablets have been distributed to our citizens. In 46,000 of our schools, we have uh, installed multifunctional printers and 432,000 smart billboards have been installed in our classrooms. With those technologies, we want to grow our students. We give the class books free of charge so that a huge cost has been saved from the responsibility of our citizens. The number of the books that we have distributed free of, free of charge went beyond three billion, and we give educational support to the poor families. 
We don't want any of our kids deprived of the education and we make use of the mobile schools and also the uh, dormitories. And of course, we have to reduce the number of students per teacher, but as we every year receive new students as a result of the increasing population, we still have a lot to do. Dear guests, today we have more than 18 million students who receive their educations in the state and private educational institutions. With the uh, private institutions, the number of our institutes reaches to 86,000. In addition to all of those entities, the Ministry of Education is in need of 13,000 new schools with 21,000 classrooms. And in our current schools, we have to strengthen our buildings against the earthquakes. The distinguished representatives of the business world and with the support of the philanthropist, we are hoping to solve the problems of uh, our educational system. If you think one year later, a seed plant, if you would like to think for another 10 years, then uh, plant a branch. If you would like to think for 100 years from now on, then raise students. I do believe you will take your part in this campaign that we initiate tonight. After a while, we will see the map and you will be able to see in which regions we need schools to be built. Our donators can easily donate to any region that they desire to. They can undertake the responsibility of the construction of, an, of a new school. What I request from you is that please give your priority to the areas where there is a high risk of earthquakes because those schools are not only safe roofs above the heads of our students but they will also turn into shelters after the earthquakes for our citizens as the minister previously mentioned. In order to evacuate the highly damaged buildings and due to the aftershocks of the earthquake and due to the fact that those damaged buildings are not able to be entered, we are in need of new schools to be constructed in those regions. In the province of Elazığ, all the public institutions which have been constructed with resistance against the earthquake have been used for such purposes. The donation figures that you are going to write on the papers left on the table will be seen on the screen as well, so that the whole Turkey will be able to follow who donated for what school projects. At the same time, I would like to make a call to our citizens who watch us in front of their TVs. The donation campaign is not limited to our friends present in this room. Any one of our citizens who have the necessary source can invest for classroom or school construction. You can be a part of this charity campaign. Please do not forget that with your donations, the schools to be constructed will serve to the needs of our students and those students will be just like your sons and daughters. We know that the students who will go to those schools will contribute in a non-pecuniary fashion to the growth of our country and you will be indirectly contributing to that. And of course, you will enjoy this by contributing to the national growth of uh, our economy. We will not be permanent in this world. As we pass away from this world, we will only enjoy the masterpieces that we will live in these lands because the students who will graduate from those schools will pray for you. 
and with those prayings, I am sure that you will have an easier life in the eternal world. As we remember this sentence, you should make people live to, so that the state can survive. This is our motto, and we will show every fas uh, facilitation and every support to our donors, our philanthropists. Your donations will be deducted from your income tax, and all costs which will be spent for the construction of those schools will be exempt from the VAT. I hope that your donations will be appreciated by God as well. Dear guests, as we close the deficit in terms of the hardware in our education entities, we should never forget to invest to the education of our students. As we take a closer look to the developed countries, which present an inspiration to the other countries, we will easily understand that they are putting utmost importance to the raising of their students. Moral, compassion, if an educational system is not constructed in those principles, maybe we will have a quality labor force, but these people will not be a role model for the future generations. That's why not only classrooms, the number of teachers or the buildings of the schools are necessary, but at the same time, we have to invest for the development of the morality of our students. In the recent years, Unfortunately, we see tragic incidents which leads us to think and we observe pictures which lead us to think. Unfortunately, this picture should be changed both on the public side and as a society. We have to brainstorm about those problems. And in terms of the education, we have to prepare ourselves a new growth map. We should teach math, science, literature, and geography. But before all of those classes, we have to teach to our kids how to become a good man so those people will show respect to their mothers, to their brothers, to their friends. Otherwise, their diploma will not matter anything. The generation which has not been nourished with its culture and the generation who is not embracing their nation, their state and their culture Unfortunately, they will be fragile and they will be inclined to be lost, just like a leaf of a tree in the wind. Our population is one of our biggest assets, so we cannot leave this population, high quality labor force, to such threats. The last 12 years, has been full with such examples. In the presidential complex, we have opened the National Library. But thanks to the opening of National Library, once again, we try to remind the biggest legacy of our ancestors. Thanks to God, the number of the visitors have reached to 27,000, and we have opened the National Library only two days ago. If we would like to reach to such a success as our ancestors reached in the past, we have to know from where to start. And dear brothers and sisters, the reason behind that success is laying in the fact that we have to increase 
the number of our schools and our classrooms and where should we start we should first start by changing our education system starting from the family to the classrooms hopefully together with the support of our nation and our ministry we will tackle this problem since we have the commitment of solving this problem without losing any time I do believe we should start preparing ourselves tonight the main reason why we gathered here is this the lives of our children and being able to protect our values from social media and we should create a climate for our kids to learn their values from their teachers and from their families I do believe that the salvation of our country will be totally depending on such kind of right steps to be taken with these emotions feelings and ideas in mind uh, once again I would like to state that I'm so curious about the results of tonight's charity event I'm not only speaking on behalf of the number of the classrooms but I really would like to see how many schools will be constructed as a result of tonight's meeting because when I take a look to my right and my left I see my citizens who actually commit themselves to this charity altogether hopefully we will add stone to the new buildings of our schools both in Eleza, in Malatya and in Van and not only limited to those provinces but in 81 of our provinces good news for the school constructions will be heard I hope that from schools to tomorrow's program will be beneficial for our nation and once again I would like to thank anyone to take part in this campaign by investing in the construction of new schools I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to each one of them after our dinner our donation campaign will start thank you so much we would like to thank our president for his nice speech we would like to hold you a little bit more on the stage in order to deliver the plaque of appreciation once again I'd like to invite our Minister of Education to present the gift to our president Thank you so much. With the call coming from our president, our donation campaign will be open for your donations. Let me remind a couple of things. We would like to invite our guests to take their seats. the guests are guests who are willing to make donations to our education system you can use the papers left on your tables and please share those papers with our Ministry of National Education <coughs> 